Good day, fellas. It's Jones here. Today I want to talk to you about a, about a little bit of the Byzantine Zone 3 Byzantine build order. And a little bit of gameplay as well, because I think just showing you a build order without any follow up gameplay is really accomplishments. So let's go. So, what do we do? Do we split, Laurent? Do gold, do food, do, do wood. But instead of. Um, just sending them there, right? To build the mills and the system with the food villagers. You kill them over to sheep. You build a mining camp at the house of the old first villager that comes out. First villager that comes out goes to gold, so it's three on gold. And then everybody else goes to food immediately. Once. So. If you're really. If you're really unsure about how to do, the, how to do this drop off, just let them drop on their own and you'll have 90 wood on three. But you'll be having 10 extra wood. I don't know, it's a little bit. Like, once they both pick five, one of them picked six wood actually here. Uh, you want to drop it off. And immediately queue wheelbarrow, but have, uh, but have the system change to dialectus. So you want the system to cover the mill. Also notice, excuse me, how the mill covers the villager. Also important. Because you get a 5% gather rate. Which, uh, you know, scales really well. Scales really well, and uh, you'll take all of the advantages you can get. Um... So the house, why not buy the town center like everybody else? It's for vision. It's, you can get border settlements, and we will eventually. Let's speed this up a little bit. Like, just queue everybody to food. Keep off. This is also against the AI, so it's not even against the AI. It's me all alone just showcasing the build to you. So a couple of things stand out, right? I'm not on the, I'm not on berries yet, uh, and as you all know, I hope you all know, berries grant uh, olive oil. God, doesn't take you to the end of the tip, but it, uh, you get olive oil from berries. Olive oil is used to get mercenaries, which are get, which are always a key part of any team play. Um, mercenaries will really allow your strategy to flourish, and of course, the mercenaries are very important. So at around the three minute mark, we, we have enough resources for for Fibble Age. I build a Hippodrome. I like to build the Hippodrome on the other side, like on the opposite side of my base that the Cistern is. And the reason is, is we're going to get a Cistern over here, which will boost uh, gather rate on this, on both of these lines. Um, but also, this one stays in Dialectus for the whole game, so the Blacksmith comes in here. And this one stays in... Uh, What's the name here? Conscriptio. For almost the whole game. Only when you just age up and want to get the upgrades, that's when you, you change it to Dialectus so you get it fast. Get those up fast. Then you pump out other units very fast as well. So another house for vision. These houses become really good at spotting raids. Really, really good. So we're building this with five. Ooh, I, for I actually forgot to mention. So five villagers from food to build the to build the hippodrome. Leave four on food. Everybody else is on wood. So right now we are at six on wood. Because you need a lot of buildings. You need a lot of buildings. You are gonna need at least. Um, you needed this house, right? You're gonna need at least either a range or a um, or a or a barracks and a. A mercenary house. So that's a lot of wood you're gonna have to invest. So you need these Get villagers it. gathering wood. The five here is just so that you can get some sort of timing here. You don't even have enough food to get the first uh, horseman out. Getting the rest of your infrastructure is so key. I then sent the five villagers to Barry so that you can start gathering a little bit of that oil. You start off with a hundred and that's gonna be enough to choose the contract but you wanna get the units out as well. And I'll go through the contracts when you get there. So we're at five minutes into the game. We are building the second cistern. We just have enough, uh, have enough stone. This is a huge buff that rented by the latest patch that dropped. I'm recording that's on the seventh. Dropped yesterday, seventh of December, 2023. You guys, watch this a lot later. Which I don't think you will because it's season dependent. So. <laughs> yeah, but we have a barracks here. This is actually a bit of a mistake. This villager will 
It's a bit annoyed right now, actually. Um, yeah, so we have a barracks. Not yet enough wood to build uh, the mercenary house, but we're getting there. And and you might ask me, so aren't they getting raided by longbowmen or whatever at this point? Yeah, against those things, you're gonna, not going to do this build. You're going to do this build order if you have this kind of time, because you're going to be set for feudal age. You're going to have a very good feudal age. Um, like, if they go second PC, or if they try to go fast castle on you, you can do some pretty cool stuff here. So we are getting the lumber camp upgrade. This isn't dialectus at the moment. We also want to get the, the hardened, uh, hardened tag, border settlements. Already got to ask, uh, the first uh, mining tag and the first food tag. We are very high tech here. Already got the um, horseman out. We got the horseman tag as well. We are on conscripto already. I think I changed it back just so that this is fast. Yeah, I do absolutely change it. But then the horseman did 23 seconds. Um, yeah, and at this point, right, we're finished. We, s we keep four villages on wood. Uh, we send all new villagers to the berries until we have 18 total on food. So it's 14 on the berries. So this is actually eight, four on sheep. This will give us enough food per minute to keep pumping out the uh, horsemen from the hippodrome. The uh, limitane or archers in the barracks. If you want archers, you, you, you will want to have, uh, well, uh, 14. You, you will want to have 10 on the berries. 8 on the wood line. Pick it up. And then you send two villages over to the stone. Actually, make a mistake here. This is the wood line. Because the next guys go to the wood line. want to have wood to do everything else, so. In this game, uh, with the mercenary house, I am going to get the Silk Road Mercenary Farm. So let's pause the game here for a second. So you have three choices of contracts here. The first contract, the Eastern one, you get Kashyyyk and Feudal Age. Um, so let me actually... I don't want to lie to you guys. So I actually want to put up here the contracts. So... So from the mercenary house, um, so you get the eastern contract, which gets Kashyyyk and Feudal Age, Gulam in, um, in Castle Age, and Tower Elephants in um, Imperial Age. I have never seen anyone play Tower Elephants before, even though I'm sure it's pretty good. Uh, you really want, if you want a cavalry centric build, which I guess this kind is, you want to go for Kashyyyk, right? And the, the choice of contract will depend on what you're doing. So everybody's gonna queue to, to wood now, you're just queuing up villages. The build order is actually over at this point. Uh, because we just almost have enough olive oil to get the first set of the javelin throwers. You would have enough oil to send uh, to send out Kashyyyk, and you would almost have oil to send out Longbow. So, these are the first ones. So let's go there. So, the Gulam, I guess, are okay as a tanky option if you don't want to go with range and guard. I'll see you for a second. Uh, yeah, you want to get the Western contract only if you suspect massive spears. If you suspect mass spears, you want to go range and then the Western contract. And I guess the Landsknecht can be helpful and late game the Uh And for I actually been using the javelin thrower as like my archer anti archer replacement. Uh, it's been working out pretty well for me. I'm the a few games there. Um, also, with the Silk Road Mercenary contract, you really want to use it if you're going against the cavalry ships. So if you're going against John Dark, this is not a bad build order. Uh, you just have to pull from gold uh, as soon as the knights show up and play tight to your base. So, no getting the stone before you get away, no getting nothing. Just get food, uh, get, to, get to wood, and uh, use a lot of limitane and javelin throwers to kill the archers. And the horsemen as well to tank some damage. And potentially go kill the archers as well, or even raid. So as you can see, like we already have 15 units at 9 minutes, even though we're housed. Which is not great. <laughs> yeah, but we're getting the javelin throwers. We are not really getting our money's worth from these berries. As opposed to what we would with the... We have a landmark with the winery, but uh, in the Hippodrome, not only do we save 150 wood on not building a stable, 
We have access to Triumph, which is a really powerful ability. It just got nerfed. The supplies got nerfed. It's a with less supplies. And each supply only increases the duration for attack, and you don't really have that uh, massive Triumph that lasts for like two minutes <laughs> the first time you use it if you don't use it for a bit. But it's still powerful. It's still a lot of damage, a lot of move speed and health regen, which makes raiding very effective. And tips fights, especially in the mirror, where they also use it. Uh, but this all comes to uh, the point here. Let's uh, skip a little bit. I think I went over the contracts a little bit well. Uh, so with the Silk Road, uh, you get camels. Camels, like I'm expanding the cistern as I'm getting the stone as well, so it's, it's more gameplay than build art, to be honest. We have the two on stone for that very reason. And you know, I came to the deer here, expanding the cistern. Obviously, I'm playing solo. You're not always gonna go for the spear. I even lured it, it's like all right around the center. Got the upgrade with this mill, because it takes 15 seconds. But now we're level 4 cistern. This is 20% gather rate. It's really, really good. Doesn't catch all of these farms, but yeah, this one does. <laughs> See other farms. Unfortunately, not cumulative. Not cumulative, which is unfortunate. Is unfortunate. But, uh, as you can see, like we keep queuing uh, onto the wood here. We are expanding our olive groves. We want to get olive groves as well for the olive oil, not just for the food. But cheaper as well. Not as high value as English, actually. Uh, but still, uh, pretty good. Okay, Castle Age at about 14 minutes. I stopped producing units for for a while. We have over a thousand food per minute. That's pretty good. Um, now, the, the second part of this here is... With this kind of cavalry-centric build, I like going to the system of the first hill for the flasks, right? So this is another cistern. I came here to the mills, but I could add it here. The power of the stone, part of the gold here that you can just barely see. Alright, so definitely some strategic options out there. Didn't you? Cheap, I suck. Um, so now, quick change to Dialectus. Get Veteran. Veteran. Uh, get Veteran as well. Look at that, it's just 15 seconds. Of course, the Unisic for uh, spawn. <laughs> we are gonna change the Conscriptio very soon. There we go. And the point here is, now you're going to start building Ganifrax. Build some horsemen as well. During a game, you will want some horsemen. Uh, just so that you, you have that anti-archer. And also, raiding capabilities. Obviously, in a real game, you don't have a 91 unit army. Here in the gear, I'm only going to keep one village. <laughs> you can tell I, I'm not... Uh, at this point, I just want to get uh, some, some game time to get my cross here. This one is very good, because it gives you that flash that heals up. So you, you will want to play with the Cataphrax, so a little bit like a cheaper, but slightly weaker elephant. So any Dali players, I think, will understand this. Um, so you always want to keep your elephant alive. If you get like two elephants, you really want to keep them alive, you will heal them. As much as you can. Here you don't really have the same level of incentive for going with... Uh... Yeah, so that's me activating the Triumph. I have some Camel Riders that have the Camel on these, which is really... It's, uh, yeah. uh, but as I was saying, you don't have the same incentive for, um, for going with the Monk, so that Flask is a really good ability. Yeah, that's going to be it for me. Have a good one. Good night.